So I am not in the studio this week, so I have no idea what's going in this dev video because I am in Cologne at Gamescom. The new update's out, Javelin is live, Casual Matchmaking is live, Dome is live, so enjoy the video. I've got no idea what's going to be in it. With Shu working hard at Gamescom, we got a few devs to tell you what's up. The biggest news, of course, is the Javelin update launch. Check out the trailer, then jump in game to try out our new Merc and party up with your friends. Your favorite community manager also embarrassed himself in front of 10,000 strangers on Tuesday. He was joined by producer Drunk to talk about the future of Dirty Bomb. Hard to do if you're trying to play the game at the same time. Drunk casually announced our plan to release new Mercs every six to seven weeks this year and mentioned the next big new map, Castle, which we'll show you more of later on in the video. In this update, we've improved the UI across parts of the game to make it feel more intuitive. This includes a decluttered home screen, a new Merc selection widget, better navigation and a brand new party system which works at all levels of the UI. Since you're introducing casual matchmaking, we've been listening very carefully to your comments and I've had a great time talking with many of you personally. Right now, the priority is improving the time it takes for you to get into a match. This is really important to us as we want matchmaking to feel fast and fluid while focusing on your friends, your performance and your loadouts. We've released a couple of hotfixes already to try and make things smoother, and we'll be adding more levels of polish to the experience over the coming weeks and months. While we were getting Javelin ready, the R team was also working on our next map, Castle. The area with Peaks is one of the city's most iconic locations, the Tower of London. Once in game, you get out of the tube and then straight towards the first objective, then continue inside the tower perimeter. There are some nice vista points towards the river and the tower bridge is being included as well. Although we've taken some liberty in rebuilding the area in order to get the best gameplay possible, we've taken loads of photo reference and recreated the most iconic elements and material from the real location. This map will be played at nighttime and will spend a considerable amount of time on lighting for pleasant visual results and of course for gameplay dynamics. We don't have a release date for you yet, but we're working really hard and we'll let you know closer to the release. Earlier this week, three of our YouTube friends gave their thoughts on the update the day before it hit. LCTR and CAD Gamings each gave a rundown of Javelin, her abilities and weapons, and Jack from Work the Space reviewed all nine of Javelin's loadout card combinations. Since launch, we've been seeing more great videos from both old friends and some new faces. We've put up a playlist with a few of our favorites, so check it out. Last week, the most reported issues were casual matchmaking, the server browser, and Javelin. For casual matchmaking, we've been following up your reported issues in our bug mega thread and have released two hotfixes since its release. Right now, our focus is to reduce the time it takes to get into a match, and we'll keep making improvements beyond that. We know many of you miss having objective mode in the server browser, but it's really important for players to be in casual matchmaking for it to work effectively and for us to grow the game. Please bear with us while we work on introducing rentable servers, which will give you a huge amount of control over your own match types and rules. Finally, we've had several players say that Javelin is overpowered. When we release new mercs, we have to let the dust settle before considering any balance changes. It can take some time to adjust to playing against new mercs, and high-skilled players with lots of credits are often the first to purchase. Having said that, we're keeping an eye on her performance and we'll be making any changes if she needs them. Want to keep ahead of what's happening in Dirty Bomb? Why not subscribe? And if you want us to bring Shu back from Cologne, let us know in the comments below.